Okay, this is the 60 minute chart uh, on the shorter time frame on the of the S&P 500. Again, a consolidative action that took place today. Uh, nothing to be uh, extremely alarmed about and obviously we are at an inflection point as to whether or not we are going to basically move up and so far the indications are at least looking on the surface that we are going to create this inverse head and shoulder that's going to take place so let me get straight to work explaining to all my clueless members and free trial subscribers what this is all about again I repeat nobody has a crystal ball however pattern symmetries do repeat themselves and despite the different sets of global events and macroeconomic factors that are in play currently markets tend to behave in certain similar fashion that they did before and it all relates to behavioral game theory where human beings generally tend to react the same way under different circumstances which is fight or flight so we would like to be in the group which says we fight so let's see so here is the one a 60 minute chart of the S&P 500 let me transplant the Fibonacci retracement over this and let's see what we you know whether this uh, convoluted looking chart starts to make some sense I have shown this stuff before please review this in tandem with last night's videos and then all of a sudden a lot of things will fall into place so this is chart construction going on so bear with me and I will start explaining a bit of my analysis okay so very simply uh, if you look at it this is the trend line all the way from this double bottom this double bottom was uh, this double bottom was back in the May uh, time period of 2014 Here we had a huge move then we're now coming down and we are we tested the uptrend line the previous uptrend line was uh, broken and the previous uptrend line would have been drawn like this so let's keep that in in focus so we had a very sharp waterfall decline um, I did the I did the Fibonacci's from the May lows uh, instead of this low just to show that we did not retrace the whole move we basically came and rested on the 38 Feb and now we're starting to make the move up so let me show you the similarities with Dow Jones even though each chart looks a bit different we have a left shoulder we have a right shoulder I'm sorry we have left shoulder we have the head and we have a right shoulder here um, you could call this a complex head and shoulder which most of them are these days so this is the this is the second of the uh, uh, left shoulders and at this point if game goes right we're gonna head up here and we're gonna try to test that that slightly downward sloping uh, 200 day uh, 200 day moving average on the 60 minute chart that coincides with roughly 1960 again this is a level to watch we first have to take out the 1944 level but so far this pattern that we're looking at okay is somewhat constructive remember this pattern flipped up like this is a head and shoulder this is a head and shoulder and this is the inverse head and shoulder so that's the way it's you know that's the way things work um let me take the thing out take take these drawings out okay that's fine let me get this out okay sorry about that at this point in time let me show you the downside of what might happen get this drawing tool out again we slip here we come sliding down and then at that point we're gonna test this 1908 level and if this happens we're gonna attempt a small bounce and if we fail then we are going to fall rather sharply and that would uh, it's not gonna happen in one go but take hey, anything goes these days uh, you could fall um, from uh, you could literally fall about 40 um, from this from 1900 level you could fall like 40 S&P points in one go can it happen sure can happen I'm not surprised with anything that I see in the markets these days so let's see what else uh, 
we could see well so far that's that's a 60 minute chart so at this point in time uh, this head and shoulder pattern inverse head and shoulder pattern better work out if not we're gonna slip down hard um, so we're gonna close eye on that let's take a look at the daily chart let's take a look at the daily chart on the S&P 500 and the daily chart is basically this right now I had the FIBS drawn here okay the daily chart is basically uh, again a consolidative move see that you have uh, you have the bright, large falling wedge uh, bullish falling wedge which broke up very large bar now we're consolidating here similar to be consolidated here so from a pattern symmetry standpoint for whatever it's worth this very long bar could very well be this brings us up to that 1960-1965 level this is the this is basically the pattern symmetry showed it before showing it again can this happen sure can happen best case scenario is that we go and test the this this uh, uptrend line which has been in place from here let's say and that uh, back test of the uptrend line would be somewhere in the 1988 level which would be similar to the previous highs um, can it happen it sure can but I'm not don't think that it will um, not yet looking at the spy we see a similar pattern in play on the spies same story here so if uh, again let me draw it out while I'm at it so you understand how this market works here's the head here's the left shoulder right shoulder this is the pattern it is trying to break there's a gap here that gap is around 196 again all the numbers match so this is almost like a smiling face right so um, that's what I'm seeing let's take a look while we have time here at the Russell 2000 click that the Russell is um, it's looks fine in my book uh, you, we have a, a, a large falling wedge uh, you broke out of it very heavy I mean this was one heck of a move all the way from 1106 up to uh, you know in between the minor zigzags going all the way to 1150 so you're talking about about 40 1150 you're talking about 44 Russell points we saw what happened to those calls when berserk and then we have a consolidated flag here let's take a quick look at what this consolidation flag looks like let me get my drawing tool and this is what a consolidation flag looks like so at this point this, this green bar is somewhat positive so we need to break up and go over 1152 which would bring us into play at this 1160 uh, 1160 64 level if we slip below this um, we are going to basically we are going to slip, uh, we're going to slip down at that point uh, these lower levels are going to come into play again now here is something interesting I want to show everyone and this is what you call reading the tea leaves um, we are st we saw a let me get closer we saw a right there we saw the crossover of the 34 one second where is the 50 okay right there if you notice okay look carefully right there the 34 the orange line is crossed over the 50 day moving average so that's positive so if this crossover continues then this uh, this 50 this red line 50 day is going to start to turn up let me do this it's going to basically start to turn up I think this would be a better view to show it so this starts to turn up this would be the most optimistic scenario this red line this orange line keeps on continuing and at one point the 50 crosses over the 34 and that's a blast that's when you see this big move here where the pattern basically gets up here and we were possibly we can fill the gap to 1170 and the possible is a minor gap here to 1184 now that only happens if we see a confluence of these moving average start to cross over each other and that like I repeat this red line here continues like that and then the 34 MA continues and then the 50 day moving average or you know in this case the 50 moving average on the 60 minute charts crosses over the 34 and that's a powerful move so there's you know things to keep in mind just the way it happened here
okay with the 34 crossed over the 50 and then the 50 crossed over the 34 